Good afternoon. Right, I've just um, following on then. We're doing composition this month, um, and well, I've been away for a, a, a week, but um, we're straight back on it now. So, this is the picture that we're going to do eventually. But I just want to talk to you about some of the pictures that you have seen me do, um, and you are familiar with the, the photographs. What I'm going to do is um, just talk you through um, what amateurs these are now if you've been reading the the information that i put together for you you'll you'll be familiar with this word amateurs and what is amateurs right okay well amateurs is the method by which um the artist you know, lets the the viewer see um and and leads him through the painting uh, to to see what the artist wants you to actually see. So there's there's eight different amateurs that are basic, um, and I'm just going to go through each of them with you. You've seen me do one or two. You've seen me do all these pictures if you've been watching Facebook. Um, now this was the one that is the tunnel. Um, now it's the amateur for this one is um, O, so it's a hole. So that is the amateur for this. So that's what the, the, the artist wants you to see. Uh, and that's what attracted me to this picture. So um, that's where the focus is on that one. OK, we'll get the gist of this in a little while. Right. You've seen me do this one. This is Castleton. Now, this one is an L. Now, what I've got here, I've got a um, horizontal line going there and then it goes up the side of that tree. OK, now we can't call that tree. It, it could be that tree, but I, I'm going to say it's that one. So we've got horizontal. Um, that's and it's in the, the the third of the of the paper. If you look third hand side. So that's the middle. That's the, the, the third on the on the other side on the left. And this is the third on the right. So that helps that am amateur to, to guide the viewer um, into the picture. OK, so that's that one. Um, this one is. Um, bigger so this is Germany this again is horizontal and vertical lines so you see it, the, it's a natural um, progression but this is what I've chosen the picture for you will do this naturally as you get used to taking photographs but it just helps when you're looking at a, a scene to place it ready for the photograph or do the thumbnails which we'll be doing a little bit more of I know I touched on it just to give you a taster but we're going to touch on those uh, so we've got a horizontal there and we've got a vertical that goes down these trees down the edge of those trees there so that's the focus point again it's in the last two thirds of the picture I don't want to baffle you too much with composition um, there is a I have put a reference up there Ian Roberts very good on um, composition if you want to go into it more um, then by all means read up on um, on what he has to put and other artists there there's quite a lot of information out there um, S's you've seen me do these a lot in fields the darkness uh, and it winds its way through naturally naturally but that's the way that that photograph was taken so when I've taken that and I've taken all these photographs um, I've, I've obviously done it naturally and, I, and I've picked up that S which leads the eye into the picture. Okay. Now this one's a little bit different. This was done um, just down Dolls Lane, which is not far away from me. And it is a triangle. So you've got the trees going down there, which leads the eye in. And you've got the lines at the bottom and a line going up there. So you've actually got a, 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 a 90 degrees angle and you've got a, or whatever that is, 45 degrees. However, it's a triangle. OK, so that helps to and again, it's in the last third of the picture of the frame. Frame is what we call the, the four borders. Right. OK, now this one, another another S. Now, you've seen me do these um, in the picture that I do from this. Not very clear on here, but when I've done the picture that I, I'm doing for the painting, I will put in a dark line that goes right the way. So it, the, the viewer winds the way through so that's another s okay this one you saw me do this one uh this is a, a an o so i've basically used um that part there as the the basis for for what i want the viewer to see so it's that part of the lake in the middle okay right now oh, there's a couple more 
this one now this is one of the others and i'm going to read all eight out to you i've done most of them on the pictures and these are just naturally done so it's not been very hard to, to find these for you anyway uh, but they are radiating lines so if you think of a point there just there all these lines here radiate out from that point again it's perspective but it does help to lead the eye into the picture so you can focus on or you can get the viewer to focus on what you want it to be which for my in my interest was the tree and that little lane there at the end okay right next oh this is another s so this is a waterway lovely s that's so obvious okay so that is a lovely way of leading you the, the viewer into the picture and last but not least was the one again from St Wilfred's Church from, from Kirkby and that's diagonal so you've got a diagonal line there it's down the trees these trees here it's a little bit steep I've put those there but we've got I wanted to incorporate that hill there so it's very diagonal almost triangular okay so that covers quite a few of the uh, uh, armatures that we, we, we can use so I'm going to just read them to you number one is an S we've done that horizontals and verticals the O which was the um, the, the mountains and the water the, the lake then a diagonal which we've just done um, there's a fulcrum now that's when you use the balance of a tree against a smaller tree uh, and you've got a fulcrum happening so it balances the picture and Unfortunately, I had not got one to hand at the moment, but I'll, I'll find one later. An L. We've done the L. That's the, the tree with the shadow underneath it. Radiating lines. That was this one. And then, like I said, there was the triangle. Okay. So they're the eight basic armatures. I mean, if you study masters, you know, the masters that work, you know, the Rembrandts and um, and, and all the masters that, that do this, you'll see armatures everywhere. Um, if you really read into it and you wanted to go into it more, um, then study the masters. But for what we do, um, I think that's a good ground basic knowledge of composition. Um, now, also I wanted to do, I've not, I've picked this photograph uh, it was taken of Kilda water surprise surprise um and it's it's not the best for one and the most obvious one is this fir tree growing up here it splits the picture in half it's not it's not doing anything for the viewer you look at that tree and you stop you don't move around the picture okay now it could be it could be if we take that out we take that that um, that tree out um, then you could have a lovely uh, triangle. There's a triangle there, which would lead the viewer into the picture and all around, all around the the the, the, the far bank. All right. So that's just an example of you've got a picture. You don't like what you're looking at, but you don't know why. Well, the, understanding the composition helps you to understand why you'd take that tree out, and that is so obvious that one. Okay, so let's crack on then. Let's do one. So I'm just going to map out with um, this art graph, which is a, just a hard pastel, the distant hills. I'm just going to put in the water line. Remember, it's water. It was killed a water. It's a reservoir. It's absolutely flat. Okay, if you can't get it absolutely flat by doing it, by freehand then by all means use a ruler but you need to have it flat or it will just be falling off the page okay now i'll just put these um these conifers pines whatever they were it was a pretty dismal well it wasn't raining but it was a not a very bright day um so we'll just put these in here and I'm just going to turn this one then that's not a particularly good composition into something that's acceptable as a as a, as a piece of work. Right, follow the triangle then. So just by following what I'm doing, don't lose it. Because don't forget, these lines get covered up anyway, so you can make marks on there. So I'm just going to put in where those trees are. And I may even just to help the composition of this and as that's what we're doing i may just uh, put another pop another tree in there 
uh, it's it just helps the composition of everything and makes it pleasant for the viewer to look at you never know in another 20 years it could be a tree growing there <laughs> right okay let's just do that bank then don't forget we want that leading is like a triangle so I'm doing that triangle there for this and just bits of bushes coming off there and then just block that in you can pick out the uh, the darks in a minute okay now hopefully this video will go right to the end I'm hoping it's not going to stop on me um, and what am I going to do here? Right, okay, I will just come in there just to, to give it a bit of a, a banking at the front there. And we can put a few grasses at the front, can't we? Now then, there's a question. Do I put... We've got some nice rocks there, actually. Put them in just so I don't forget that they're there. We've got a nice tree thing coming in here. Does that, does that help the... It could actually, um, it could actually help the composition and change it from from the diamond. It could actually help and do the fulcrum. So you've got a heavy sort of thing here, and you've got a light thing going off over here. That's entirely up to you. If you don't feel confident at putting those in, then don't put them in. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put these in, just so that that reminds me that that's what I want to do. Okay. Right, so just check you've got a you've got a your diagonal, which is what you're after. You could use it as a fulcrum there, but it's not a very strong one. Um, but I just I just feel as if that that is about right. It feels right. Okay, nice shadows down there where the trees are coming. We'll have another one there now because we've got an extra tree. Okay, don't forget they have to make sense. The picture so if you've got a, some whatever's above it's got to be below it's pretty dark in there but like i said we'll uh, we'll get down to the darks in a minute cover that all in right okay so a lot of scribbly scribbly lines okay well let's put the darks of the darks in then we're going to go with what we should be doing um i've got me um my farthest hills ready um they were just about there they're not very dark but i'll i won't do them just yet i'll do the darks first right so the trees let's look at doing the trees in a really dark green so i'm going to put the darks of the darks in to start with and don't worry about the edges we're going to look at edges uh, a bit little bit later on when um when i've done the sky We'll look at sharpening these up. Just want to get the shapes in for now. All right. So, just roughly, just putting in the um, the shapes of these trees. I'm not too worried about making them like too much like trees, apart from the edges. It just gives me an idea of where we're going. And when we've done the when we've done the sky. Um, can tidy them up a little bit right okay so it's really dark in there we've got some lovely sky holes or water holes just here um, we'll have to pick them up in a little while okay 